838 this morning and we're going outdoors bound as the top wildlife and outdoors headlines, including a look at how dogs are being used to sniff out a foreign invader. Yeah, pretty interesting story there. Who else has this story for us then? Our very own George Nolif, who joins us now in the studio. George, how's it going? Hey, Evan. Hey, Brandon. Y you know, dogs are often called man's best friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they could also become the spotted lanternfly's worst enemy. How y'all doing there, folks? Spotted lanternflies are invasive, and they present a threat to native plants and trees. Now, the Virginia Department of Forestry has a unique way of going after them. They are training dogs to sniff out lanternfly eggs, nifs, and adults so they can be eradicated. Now, fly dogs underwent training recently at First Mountain State Forest up in Rockingham County. That's one of the dogs right there. And we're going to keep you in the loop on how they do in the future, but right now, sounds pretty good. They're on their third, um, they're on their third rotation. Work around wildlife, maybe live at the beach and have access to fresh seafood. How's that sound, guys? Yep. Yeah, okay. Here's your chance. The application period for the Virginia Marine Resources Commission Waterman Apprentice Program is now open. Now, watermen fish, they harvest crabs, harvest oysters, clams, almost any kind of shellfish. You can work toward certification as a waterman's apprentice to learn that trade. You want more info? Go to the VMRC website. How do you get there? Well, I've put a link to that site on the Outdoors Bound page on WFXRTV.com. Know what that was? That's the noise wild elk make. Now you could get the chance to hear it in person. The Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources has announced that bookings for elk viewing tours are now open. Those tours happen out of Brakes Interstate Park on the Kentucky border. Virginia's restored wild elk herd is thriving. I have a link to the registration on the Outdoors Bound page at WFXRTV.com. Oh, look. Look at that. It's a baby, a baby crawdad. Bet you never saw one of those before. That's a newly hatched big sandy crayfish at the Federal Fish Hatchery up in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Only about a quarter inch long. They're about the size of a pencil eraser. There's an adult one. The feds are working with VDWR and West Liberty University to restore big sandy crayfish populations. They're threatened right now. Only found in Virginia, West Virginia and Kentucky. And so, George, what's the outlook for saving the big sandy crayfish? Well, they're threatened, right? But the biologists say they still have some good numbers to work with in the wild and the hatchery program, and that's going to help a lot. There are also improvements being made to water quality and, and streams on the uh, border, in that border area. The water has been affected by industry and mining, you know, the usual story. They're cleaning it up. So I'm always happy to report when the outlook to save a species is good, but, you know, there's still some work to do. All right. Well, George, you say crayfish. You know what I say. Crawfish. I say, well, you're from Louisiana. Right. I, I'm from Ohio originally. I say crawdads. My mom. Uh. That, but I got that from my mom, who's from West Virginia. So, you know. Whatever you prefer, they're delicious. Mm -hmm. Except don't eat these threatened ones. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Good point there, George. All right. George Nolif, our Outdoors Bounty. Thanks so much.